So in this video, I figured we'd take a moment to talk about dice and twist. So this object is comprised of a multitude of different objects comprising of different Boolean operations helping make it. So the first thing we'll do is go under operations and choose smart apply, which will smart apply all the modifiers allowing us to then shift click the main object and control J to just join everything, allowing us to almost work out except for the bevel being a little overshot, but we'll just go inside of bevel and just adjust that to something more suitable. So now we can actually go inside of dice and we can begin setting up our loops. This time we'll stay inside of knife project, but I'll also press T in order to jump to twist afterwards. So basically if you press T in the middle of dice, it will take you into twist afterwards, which was something I wanted. And now we're able to twist and dice so that is really all there is to it. Of course, we can see a little bit of breakdown over the course of trying it using knife project. And for this reason, two algorithms exist. So if we take a look at our mesh here, we can see that it's a little bit complex, built up of multiple manifold pieces all together because of a limitation of twist at this time. When it comes to multi-twist, the conundrum of how to deal with multiple rotations of multiple objects at the same time definitely becomes an interesting question and creating multiple empties at the same time also becomes a bit of a conundrum. So I'll press Alt X in order to mirror this across itself and we'll go back into dice again, except this time I'll give it a little bit fewer segments, but we'll press Q in order to use uh, mesh intersect. And then we'll press T to go into twist. And when we click, we are now inside of twist and the result is much better. So sometimes knife project can be more useful for 2D meshes, but there's also other situations where mesh intersect is actually more optimal for dice, but dice is only getting smarter from here. And I aim to have it also support jumping into lattices in the future, maybe also something with Bezier mesh shaper where you can dice and shape something immediately in the same operation. But I just wanted to do a quick overview talking about dice and twist and smart apply all at the same time. 